If you have knee arthritis, there is one really cool tool that you can use to reduce pain up and down the stairs, to get up and down from a chair easier, and to walk easier. And what's really cool about this is it's usually under $20 and very simple to use. The answer is actually a knee sleeve. So this, you can get them in neoprene or you can get them in a cotton form, but it is a totally soft brace. There are no hard parts in this brace. It's similar to a compression stocking if you've ever worn one of those, although easier to get on. And a really interesting study that I found was they took people that had knee osteoarthritis and they did three tests with and without a knee sleeve. They timed them going up and down the stairs and measured how much pain they had. They timed them getting up from a chair or walking a very short distance and then sitting back down, essentially to see how quick they could get up and down from a chair. And then thirdly, they had, an, they had eight meter length and they essentially just timed how quickly they could walk that distance. They found that they were actually able to see decreases in pain for climbing up and down the stairs, just adding the knee sleeve. It was about one to two points on a zero to 10 pain scale, but stay with me for a second. Now, they also noticed that getting up and down from a chair and walking a certain, that, that short distance, their time got quicker using a knee sleeve, meaning they did better on that test. And then thirdly, that eight meter walk test, they were able to walk quicker with just the knee sleeve. There are many different theories as to how these compression sleeves work. Some say that this constant compression can distract some of the pain pathways, that your body is sensing, your skin is sensing something that is going to then decrease those sensations of pain, thus reducing pain. And if you think about it, if you are experiencing pain in a certain area of your body and you apply pressure to it, a lot of times it can at least make it feel better temporarily. These can also bring and promote blood flow to the area, which can help to promote healing. It can minimize swelling so you don't get that tightness feeling or that stiffness feeling that your knee feels like a cement block. It can help to prevent some of that. There are many different benefits to these compression sleeves and the good thing is there really are no risks Unless you have circulation issues, you do want to make sure that you do have a properly fitting one, but there aren't many risks and it's not very expensive. So a lot of times it is very much worth trying. Now I know many of you may be asking, what are some of the knee sleeves that I recommend? And I'm going to put down below a link to a blog post that discusses all kinds of different knee sleeves. There are lots of different ones out there and really it's just finding one that fits you the best and feels good. You have to have that balance between being tight tight enough, but not being too tight. You have got to pair this with exercise. In the study that we discussed, although the benefits may seem small, you can maximize the benefit by adding in other things and exercise being the primary thing to add. You can build muscle strength, which is going to help to support the knee joint and really any other arthritic joint that you're experiencing pain in. We have to build strength to support those joints. So this knee sleeve alone will not solve all of your problems. It is a piece to the puzzle that we're constantly putting together. Now we know that sometimes these compression sleeves can be hard to find one that fits and it can be a little annoying if you can't find one that doesn't stop rolling. So I do want to give you another option if you are having some difficulty finding one that fits your knee. You can use an ace wrap bandage just like this to essentially give you the same effect of compression. So now when it comes to wrapping your knee with this brace, you do wanna do it in a seated position. And what you wanna do is extend the leg that you are gonna be wrapping to get it as straight as possible. When you wrap it, you want it to be as close to straight as you can. It's going to be one, very difficult, and two, not as beneficial if you wrap it in a bent position. So please wrap it in a position as straight as you can get it. Now, please recognize that if you do have a large knee, you may need the extra long version of the ACE wrap. 
And honestly, I usually recommend a, almost everyone to at least try the extra long because if they're too short, you're not gonna be able to cover much area. So getting the extra long version, I'll put a link down below. You can also just search extra long ACE bandage. Now, what you're going to do is you're gonna start up above the kneecap and place your wrap. Then you're going to use your other hand to hold it there as you feed it around. I'm gonna pull it tight and not too tight. You will want to experiment with this a little bit. And then I'm just going to come right over that top strap that I just did, just to make sure it's secure. Then I'm going to repeat. You're gonna pull it tight and I'm going to overlap about half of the previous strand and I'm going to repeat that. So you're just pulling taut and then bringing it around. And then this one adheres to itself. I don't necessarily recommend this one. They do have the softer ones that you just have that little silver piece to attach it to, which most are. So now we have a wrapped knee. You do wanna make sure that you can at least slide one finger underneath. Sometimes if you can get more, it may not be tight enough, but just start with the one finger. And if that feels too tight as you're up and moving around, maybe your toes are going numb, then loosen it up. But the good thing is this is fairly easy to do. So as you're trying the first few times, you may have to do it more than once. You can also have somebody else do it for you if you don't necessarily have the mobility to do it. But it's fairly easy. You just wanna make sure that it's providing some of that compression without cutting off your circulation and that you can move in it. Both ways of compression are going to give you some of that added benefit that we talked about in the beginning, whether you have a knee sleeve or you have this ACE wrap. Both are worth a try if you're looking to reduce pain and to improve your ability to walk, to exercise, to go up and down stairs. One thing I would not recommend is sleeping in them. Especially with the ACE wrap, it's hard to control how tight it is. If it's too tight, you don't want it cutting off your circulation. Same thing with a knee sleeve, I would not recommend sleeping in them. I'm gonna put the blog post down below that's gonna give you much more information about these knee sleeves and certain brands that I do like. And then also I'll put the link down below for the extra long ACE wrap bandage. I hope that this was helpful for you. And if it was, go ahead and let me know down in the comments and don't forget to click that red subscribe button because I have lots more tips and tricks coming your way. Thanks for watching.